How to survive a rip tide. The term, rip tide, is usually used to describe rip currents, which are long, narrow bands of water that can pull swimmers away from the shore. While some researchers recommend floating to the end of the current, organizations such as the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration NOAA advise swimming parallel to the shore to escape. In either case, it's vital to stay calm and avoid swimming directly against the current. If you can't break free, yell and wave your arms to get the attention of a lifeguard or other beach goers. Reacting if you're caught in a rip current. Remain calm. If you get caught in a rip current, don't panic. You'll have a better shot at getting out of the situation if you stay calm. Keeping your cool can help you conserve energy and think clearly. Call for help if you're not a strong swimmer. Escape involves floating with the current, then swimming parallel to the shore to cross the current's edge. If you can't swim, call for help and wave your arms to get the attention of a lifeguard or other people on the beach. If you know how to swim, you should be able to escape and swim back to shore at an angle away from the current. However, if you have any doubt about your ability to break free of the current, call and wave for help. If you know how to swim, you should be able to escape and swim back to shore at an angle away from the current. However, if you have any doubt about your ability to break free of the current, call and wave for help. Float or tread water until you can swim out of the current. Your instincts may be to fight the current and swim directly back to shore. However, that's the most dangerous thing you could do. Instead, focus on keeping your head above water until the current has weakened and you're able to swim through its boundary. Most rip currents weaken about 50 to 100 yards 46 to 91 meters from shore. Once the current has begun to subside, you'll have an easier time swimming out of it. Even the strongest swimmers can't fight a rip current. Trying to swim against it can lead to exhaustion and drowning. Most rip currents weaken about 50 to 100 yards 46 to 91 meters from shore. Once the current has begun to subside, you'll have an easier time swimming out of it. Even the strongest swimmers can't fight a rip current. Trying to swim against it can lead to exhaustion and drowning. Swim parallel to shore to escape the current. Most rip currents are between 30 and 100 feet 9.1 and 30.5 meters wide. Look for the nearest breaking waves. They indicate the current's edge. Swim toward the waves, and be sure to move parallel to the shore instead of directly towards it. Swim diagonally to the shore after you're out of the current. Once you are out of the current, make your way back to shore at an angle away from the current. Swimming diagonally away from the rip current minimizes the chance that you'll re-enter it. Rip currents often form around jetties and other structures perpendicular at a 90-degree angle to the beach. If you are near one of these structures, swim away from it. If necessary, stop and float periodically to rest. If you're exhausted and can't swim any further, call for help and wave your arms. Rip currents often form around jetties and other structures perpendicular at a 90-degree angle to the beach. If you are near one of these structures, swim away from it, if necessary, stop and float periodically to rest. If you're exhausted and can't swim any further, call for help and wave your arms.